Hello everyone. Today we are going to discuss D. Broglie. D. Broglie wavelength of an electron. You know about the particle electron. Electron is a particle having mass. Mass of electron is 9.1 into 10 raise to the power minus 31 kg and charge on an electron is 1.6 into 10 raise to the power minus 19 coulomb. Done. Consider an electron having mass m charge e. Let it be metal consist of large number of electron. We apply a potential difference across the ends of the conductor. Ends of the conductor, one end will acquire positive charge, other end will acquire negative charge. When we apply potential difference, an electric field is set up. Electron will accelerate from the negative terminal to the positive terminal of the conductor. Done. So, what we have done? We have applied potential difference. Means we have work done on the electron. <clears throat> work done on the electron. Is equal to charge into potential. Charge on electron is E. Potential is V. Electrons acquire energy. Gain in energy. Gain in energy. Is equal to half mv square. Whatever we have work done. That is coming in the form of energy. Done. Work done on an electron. Is equal to gain in kinetic energy. So. E into V is equal to half mv square. From here, we will calculate the value of velocity. And velocity comes out to be 2EV upon m root. Done. This is equation number 1. We have to calculate de Broglie wavelength. De Broglie wavelength associated with an electron. We know that de Broglie wavelength associated with a moving material particle is given by lambda is equal to h upon mv. Using the value of v, we will get lambda is equal to h upon m. Substituting the value of velocity, we will get 2ev upon root m. Done. m se m aapke paas cancel ho jayega. Done. Lambda is equal to h upon root of 2mev a jayega. Done. Lambda d Broglie wavelength associated with electron is given by this. <coughs> Next is your potential difference ki value aapke paas kuch bhi ho sakti hai. 20 volt, 30 volt variable hai. But h kya hai? Planck's constant. Standard value of Planck's constant is 6.6 .6 into 10 raise to the power minus 34 joule second. And mass of electron, we know the value of <coughs> standard value of mass of electron and charge on electron. Rest all 2 is constant. Rest all are constant. Substituting the value. Substituting the values, standard values, we will get lambda is equal to 12.27 upon root V into 10 this to the power minus 10 meter. Done. 10 this to the power minus 10 can be replaced by M strong. Therefore, lambda is equal to 12.27 upon root V M strong. Wavelength associated with an electron is given by lambda is equal to 12.27 upon root v m strong related to this we will discuss three graphs first between lambda and v potential difference applied second graph we will discuss between lambda and root v third graph we will discuss between lambda lambda and 1 by root v done from this equation, equation number 2, you can see lambda is inversely proportional to root of v. Lambda is inversely proportional to root of v. When we plot a graph, we plot independent variable on x-axis means v on x-axis and lambda on y-axis dependent variable. Shape of the graph will be rectangular hyperbolic in this way. Done. Again, you can see lambda is inversely proportional to root v. The shape of the graph will remain the same. Along x-axis, we will plot root v. And along y-axis, we will plot lambda. And shape of the graph again will remain the same. Done. Next, you can see lambda is from 2, we can see lambda is directly proportional to 1 by root v. For directly proportional, we know that graph will be a straight line. 
along x axis we will plot 1 by root v 1 by root v and along y axis we will plot lambda lambda and 1 by root v are directly proportional so graph will be a straight line done next what is the importance of wave properties of electron the wave nature of electron is utilized wave nature of electron wave nature of electron is utilized in the working of electron microscope wave nature of electron is utilized in working of electron microscope which is far better than your optical microscope it is having very high resolving power high resolving power means capability of an optical instrument to produce the two distinctly separate images of the two close lying objects electron microscope has high resolving power as compared to the optical microscope optical microscope uses light and electron microscope uses the wave nature of electron high resolving power thank you